Hi, I'm Kathy the Crafty Chica. Welcome to my studio here in Phoenix, Arizona. Today, we're talking all about Art Foamies. This is a new product line that I have out. You can go to craftychica.com to learn more about them, how to buy them. Now, what is so cool about these are these are some of my illustrations that have been turned into stamps that you can use on a variety of surfaces with a variety of different color medium. Let me show you the supplies that you will need to get started. What I have found with Art Foamies is you're gonna need to break out all of your paper crafting and stamping supplies because it's just so fun to have so many different ways to use them. So for starters, different ink pads. I love using white and I love using black as well as some other bright colors. Next, you want to have an ink pad that will work on all different surfaces. My favorite is stays on because it works on slick surfaces, it doesn't come off. Next, you can use brush markers and of course, embossing powder. I have all different colors of these and different ways to apply the color to your art foamies. They sell these little applicators that you could put on or you could use something like a dauber like this. Now, one of the most important things you wanna have are some baby wipes. This is so that you can clean your hands while you're working on your project so you don't smudge anything and so you can clean off the stamps when you're done using them. Those are what you need to work with the stamps. Now, if you want to add other kinds of details, definitely have some paint pens, maybe some other types of markers, colored pencils, anything you want to create more of a story with what you're going to make. First up, we are going to make some cute little love note cards like this. You could use them for Valentine's Day or really any time of the year. So what I used for this was just some craft cardstock. You can see this one I used for something else. I love to save all of my scraps. Make sure that you're working with something that has a fold so that the card will open. Time to get serious. <laughs> okay, for this I'm using white ink. I love this ink pad because the white is just so vibrant and it shows up really nice on the craft paper. Of course, you can use any color that you want, but you know, I always use so many bright colors. I like to challenge myself to try something new. So that's what I'm doing using this white ink pad. So I'm putting that protective cover on so it doesn't dry out. And here I have the fold and I'm going to place my stamp right along the fold close to it so that when I cut it out, I will have room to open it. So I'm gonna press this down. Okay, let's see this reveal. Oh, that looks nice. This is where the baby wipes come in. You wanna take a baby wipe and use it to clean up your stamp. That way it will last a long time. Okay. And clean off your fingers. Okay, now that I have this on the side, I'm gonna go in with my scissors and I'm gonna cut this. I'm not going to cut right here because that's where it's going to open. So I'm just going to cut out all along the shape of the heart, the corazón. I feel, like, I feel like my bigger scissors better for this. Do with whatever, work with whatever works for you. <laughs> and I'm just gonna cut this like this and then I can go in and do the fussy cutting portion. This. Now I could leave it like this. This looks cute, but I wanna give it some more depth. So to do that, I'm going to use a white fine tip 
paint pen and I'm going to outline the design. You can see how I did this here. This is just a nice way to give it more definition and it has a nice little um, recessed image in the back and now I'm going over it with the paint pen and it brings it to life even more. These art foamies are just so cool. This, this company is owned by a mother and daughter from the East Coast and they work with all different types of artists and illustrators to create their own art foamies. They actually manufacture all of these themselves. They have their own business and I love supporting independent companies, family owned businesses. So it makes me feel good every time I use them or promote them knowing that I'm you know, supporting another entrepreneur. Okay, and you know, I think I'm gonna add some little dots inside of the little scalloped areas, just like this. And I have my second little love note. So I could write a little quote inside of there. I could use this as a gift tag. What I like to do for friends and family is write a whole bunch of happy little notes and then hide them all around their house. One time I made a whole bunch of little notes like this and hid them all throughout my sister's car. And even after a year, she was still finding little notes that I had left for her. And let me show you another one I did. This one I used embossing powder. And this gives it a little bit of a raised look. And the inside I used the white ink again. So while we're at it, let me show you how to use the embossing powder. It's really easy. I'm just gonna take a scrap piece here and I can make a tag out of this just by cutting the little edges. Have a hole punch. That. And we have an instant tag. So I will use this same one. And this time I'm going to use the embossing pad. This is actually glue that is in this pad. And I'm going to ink this up with the glue, get a nice generous amount on there. And you're going to need some place to catch the overflow of the embossing powder. So I'll use one of these. And I'm going to use this pretty green. Okay, so I have this inked up. And I'm gonna press this onto my tag. And I'm going to quickly add my embossing powder. And the stuff is golden to me, so I'm gonna carefully put it right back in the jar that aside and now to make it raise I have my high temp what is this called um heat tool this is a high temp heat tool it is not like a blow dryer it's much stronger and I'm just going to go over the embossing powder with the heat gun and this is really cool you will see it raise up and just kind of melt into this really cool raised definition of color. There it goes, it's melting.
You can tell when it's done because the whole area is now nice and shiny. So now I have a cute little embossed tag. Let me show you one more idea. I'm making my own deck of affirmation cards. I have the link to these cards in the description and I'm using my art foamies to create these stamped cards. I'm going to write some little creative prompts on the back and affirmations. Now, if you do this type of project, you can cut up watercolor paper. I wanted to use an actual deck of cards, so these are plastic coated. That's why I said it's good to use the stays on ink pad because it will not come off. Otherwise, it will smear if you use a different type of ink pad. So for this one, I'm gonna have my baby wipe here, clean this off. And I think this one, I will grab this heart. And you can decide what way you like to stamp it. I like to get good coverage so this works. And then just set it down, press it in place. This, and then the reveal. Ah, a perfect print. And again, I'm gonna use my baby wipe, clean that off. And I'm going to heat set this because it's still a little wet and it takes a little time to dry. So I'm just gonna hold this down, put my heat tool over it to set it. And that looks really nice. Cute little card. And I can use my paint pens to decorate it even further and write a little prompt on the back. At the end, I'm going to have 52 of these so I can pull one every week and have some kind of creative prompt. And there you have the basics of using art foamies using ink pads. Now keep in mind, you can use so many different things on art foamies. You can use acrylic paint. You can even use paint for ceramics, like uh, glazes for ceramics. I've used it on mugs and on plates that I have fired in my kiln. All different types of color medium. So just have fun and play with them. The main thing is to clean them off afterwards so that you can keep using them over and over again. Now, what do you do with your art foamies after you are kind of used to them? You want to experiment. This is one where I use colored pencil to fill it in. What I like to do is make practice journals. This is one that I made when I was in San Miguel de Allende and it was to practice my watercolor. And this is just a journal to play with, have fun, experiment, use paper that you already have around the house in your studio. I'm gonna show you how to make one of these journals. So here is a giant Loteria game board that I have no use for. I have plenty of these. So now I'm gonna use it to make a book. You can do this with any sheet of paper. So I'm just going to cut this right up the middle. And because this is for practice, I'm not gonna stress out about having the lines super straight. I'm gonna fold it in half like this. And I'm gonna bring this edge up here, make the pages, and this edge right here. So you could keep this book just like this and have it where it opens and you have these different pages. I like to make the books with lots of pages. So I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. Get an even fold here. You could use a bone folder or your fingers. Again, this is a practice journal. And do this side like this. Flip this over and line up this side. 
Now we're going to take some masking tape, washi tape, whatever you prefer. And we're going to tape these two ends together. This is how we're going to join our book. This is masking tape I get it at the dollar store, comes in handy. I have another video showing how to make your own washi tape using masking tape. But for right now, we're gonna use it to join these pages together. Put this here, turn this over, and I'm gonna add one more piece right here. Just like that. Okay, so now we can decide what we want as our cover. So I'm going to use this as the cover here and then just fold it into place. And we have a cool little book with a lot of pages to decorate. And for stamping, I like that this is a matte finish on this side. This is that slick side where you want to use the stays on ink pad. But what you can do is take some printmaking paper, watercolor paper, printer paper, whatever you want, and you could apply it in the center here. So you have some nice, clean, pages to practice on. So you can see this one I was working on earlier and I have these different pages that are glued down. So I can base coat these with watercolor, with markers, colored pencils, and then go over it with my stamps. So this one I I didn't use the baby wipe on the stamp. I just kept stamping and stamping and stamping to get all of that beautiful ink onto the page. And you could just see, I just had fun playing with this. And it's just such a good way to use different techniques to practice layering, practice composition and layouts, practice incorporating the art foamies with other types of things like stencils, line drawing, journaling, all of that. So that is how you make a cute little journal. And there you have it, Art Foamies 101 using my Crafty Chica designs. These are so good if you just want to practice. I showed you how to make a journal. Check out this one. You can do this with any size of paper. Just keep it around to keep practicing. And if you are still working on your drawing and illustration skills, it's okay. Use my stamps to get your creativity rolling. If you want more information about the art foamies, visit craftychica.com. I have so many other projects over there, more details, and especially how you can buy some for your very own. Thank you so much for watching and stay crafty.